Hey y'all, Elise from Just Things with Elise, and I'm coming to y'all with a maybe quick video. I don't know how long it's gonna actually take, but we are getting new windows put in our guest bedroom, the one that we did the makeover on. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above. Um, but I guess this is round two or three of the makeover process for this room. Uh, the insulation in our windows was bad so whenever it was hot or cold outside it was hot or cold in this room because the windows are the same age as the house so it was about time to get those replaced and we're just going room by room right now and this is the first since it needed it more due to it fluctuating with whatever the weather is the other windows don't do that but anywho, let me show you what they look like now, and then I'll take you through the whole process of getting them installed as well. Alright, so this is how the windows look now. Disregard the unmade bed. I'm about to have to move all of this stuff out of the way um, so that the installer can get to work and i'll show you how it looks after i take the blinds off and everything So this is how it looks now. I moved everything away from the windows as good as I could. Hopefully this is good enough. And I need to get the screwdriver and take these out. Just on this, well, I don't really need to take this out. I need to take these out, the little blind brackets. And um, for this part, how I have ours frosted so that you can't see through. Um, there was an option where they would frost the windows for us like that again at the top, but they wouldn't be able to leave the little three lines. And I like having those because it lets a little bit of light come in through the top of the window. So I'm just going to frost it myself so that I can put the three lines back. And they said that that won't affect the windows at all. And uh, we're getting this done through Anderson Windows. If I can remember, <laughs> I'll leave the information in the description box. Um, they have pretty great service. They give you all the information that you need uh, to go through the whole process and all the contact information to get in touch with anyone you might want to. But yeah, let me go get that screwdriver before he gets here so that I can get the rest of this stuff out of the way and then he could just start working when he comes. Getting everything prepped. Got the drop cloth laid over everything and the tarp covering and stuff to keep it from getting dusty. And now it's about to be go time. You can see all the equipment out of the side so you can see through the window. I'm so excited. The windows are basically going to look exactly the same though, so don't expect a huge difference, but they will work better now. <laughs> Unless it was good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you how it looks 
from the outside. Here's how it looks from the outside. I'm putting the frame on these. And then they just have to install the last one into the frame. And they'll be done. I really like the color that we went with for the frame. It goes with the brick really nice. I want it black, but it didn't look quite right. And this is how our old windows look, just for reference. Eventually we're going to get all of them replaced, but that one needed it more. Hey y'all, excuse my everything. <laughs> I'm looking way more toe up from the floor up than usual because we're about to do some yard work. It's no sense of me trying to look like anything if I'm about to get dirty in the yard. But it's been five days since we got the windows installed and we're just gonna try to open them and everything for the first time today. We wanted to give it a little bit of extra time because it hasn't been as sunny and stuff outside. It's been raining a lot here. So we wanted to give it some extra time to try and seal and dry and all that good stuff just in case. So let's see how these babies work. Joining me today is my lovely assistant, William. And he's gonna show y'all how to open these babies up. First you unlock it, you already did that. Then there's these little gray slides on the side that you slide down to the bottom window. You pull that out, clean, clean. Then to pull the top window down, you gotta move the little gray things out of the way. Then just pull the top window out with some little, I don't know the words, at the top that you press in. Clean, clean. Then you push it back in. You push it down first till you hear that click sound. Then you push it back up. And same for the bottom. You push it back in. You push it down. It makes a click. And that's it. Lock it back so nobody breaks in your house. <laughs> the end. Thank you, lovely assistant. One week later. Okay, next step. The masons came over today and put the mortar in around the edges. If you can see, still drying. And that's just sealing the new windows in. Looks pretty good until. <laughs> You get to this window, looks all right. And then what? So the person that installed the window, uh, when they were putting this part in, it broke. And so they had to order a new one to get it put in. And allegedly the Mason was supposed to put it in while he was here. And it looks like he might have attempted because it kind of looks like wet mortar around the edges and none of this stuff was like hanging out like that at first. So I'm going to say that they attempted to put it in and something went wrong, but they did not let me know. Um, they pretty much just knocked and didn't let me know that they were outside and I didn't know that they were gone until I just came outside to check. So that's that. <laughs> And then the front window. Ugh. It's all set and done. It has the mortar all the way around like it's supposed to. So looks like I'm gonna have to make a phone call to see what's gonna be done about this window over here so that this doesn't look like this. And we're going out of town 
next week we're leaving this saturday so hopefully they get it done before we leave but yeah that's the progress so far i'll keep y'all posted four to six weeks later hello so we finally finally have our windows done this started in April and it was supposed to be done between mid-May and early June and it took all the way until the beginning of July due to people pretty much not doing their job all the way. Like the first people that came, they forgot to order their little replacement arch thing that broke when they were here and they didn't tell their boss that they forgot they said that it was completed so when the mortar people came they didn't know that they had to put in the replacement arch and so when we called back we had to get all that straightened out and then they finally sent another set of mortar people masons to get this window fixed and they did and coincidentally the people that came just so happened to also be from arkansas they're from little rock we're from pine bluff so that was nice had a little nostalgic moment with them talking about back home but i'll show you this window and then i'll give my final review of working with anderson windows all right so as you can see they finally added the other arch, sealed it off with the mortar. Um, as I said previously, I don't know if I did actually say, but instead of them caulking it closed, they decided to go with mortar just because um, they said with the arches, it's not always even. And so it would look a little uglier with them having to use so much caulk to close it up. The mortar would seal it better anyway and it would just look better aesthetically so I was like I don't care as long as the window is sealed so that's what it looks like Oops, sun decided to come out alrighty but that's the window and be prepared for a review okay so here it goes so starting from the beginning, uh, the very first actual like salesperson that came and talked to us about the process of getting the windows done and how long it would take, what we should expect. Uh, he gave us like a whole list of phone numbers to call if we needed help in any part of the way or anything like that. He was helpful. Turns out he may have given us a little bit of misinformation about a few things, but um, for the most part, he was helpful. And all of the phone numbers worked that he gave us because we called a lot of people during this process. And uh, let's see, he did not set proper expectations with us though because he did say that the whole process from him coming and us placing the order with him up until the windows completely being finished being installed would only take six weeks and like i said he came here in april <laughs> to talk to us about it for us to get everything set up and it is july now and the windows are just being finished now so not six weeks but that's all right i guess as long as they're done and the windows themselves are really great they're really great quality uh i don't regret that part it's just the service that came along with the windows that kind of sucked and my husband said after he looked deeper into it that he also saw that there were a lot of complaints online about the service part so pretty much everybody was like i love these windows i want more of these windows but the hassle that you have to go through to get the windows finished and all of that stuff kind of sucks and i agree with that um the first install well the installers that came they seemed cool while they were here uh we were laughing it up having a good time well not having a good time but you know <laughs> he was really like personable and all that good stuff he kept coming in letting me know what steps they were on and all of that uh, the actual supervisor was here that day too and he gave me his card told me 
um, if anything happens during that time, like afterwards that I notice, to give him a call and he'll try to take care of it. Uh, we did. <laughs> but um, that's where the ball got dropped. So the installer is the one that was supposed to place the order for the little arched uh, frame thing that broke while they were here and he forgot and just closed the job out as being complete so when the mortar or the masons came like I said outside they thought that they were just here to put the mason around the windows and so when I called to let them know that the job wasn't finished because the broken part was still missing they were like what we didn't even know about that blah 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 um, but the supervisor, as I said, was here that day, so he knew that it was broken. So I guess I do understand that they have a lot of people that they service, so it's easy to forget each specific job. But I would hope that you would remember something like that about something getting broken while the installation is going on. But anywho, the second Masons that came, it was a man and a woman. And um, they were the ones that installed the fixed arch and placed the mortar on that window for that part of the window. Uh, they were quick. They let me know when they got here. They let me know when they were done so I could check it out. And I signed the paperwork saying that it was done to my liking. I think that was more for them than me, but I appreciate it either way. Uh, but they were really cool. As I said, they were also from Arkansas, so we had that in common. And, uh, yeah, that was about it for that. Uh, the first Masons, I forgot to say, they did not to let me know that they got here. But when they were done, they just left. Like, they didn't say anything. I just so happened to be like, hmm, it's pretty quiet outside. I haven't heard any noise in a while. So I went out to look and they were gone. And that's how I found out that they were done for the day. Uh, but overall, Windows love service, need some work. So I would give them probably a three out of five as a review. And it's been kind of nice just because <laughs> I like the last masons that came and I like the windows. So the last masons, I give them a five out of five. The set, the first masons that came, I'll give them a one out of five. <laughs> and the installers, I will give them a three out of five. So y'all add that up, do the math. I think that averages out to three out of five. <laughs> But anywho, that's my review. So if you plan on getting Anderson windows in your home, definitely do your research for your local installers and everything to see how they get down, basically how they handle their business uh, to see if it's something that you want to actually take on or not. But that's it. I hope you like this video. It did end up not being a quick video because I didn't know it was gonna take so long for all of this to be done but I hope that it helps someone who was trying to decide about this process or something like that. If it did, definitely comment down below and let me know. I would love to hear that. And also, if you did like this video, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you would like to see more from me, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. And if you're so inclined, you can hit that little bell to get notified when I upload new videos too. But that's all for me. I will see y'all later. Bye, y'all.